to see you here. Come on in. So welcome to our home, uh, recently renovated, mind you. Some of you would have seen all of our room makeovers, but for this video, you get to see the full thing. So I wanted to show you a bit of a walk around so you get to a feeling of the flow of our new space. So this is an Edwardian home. This was built in 1911. When we moved in, it was in reasonably good condition, but the interiors did need an upgrade, which is what we have done. This room is very traditional for a period home. There's often always sort of this enclosed space just off the front door, which would have been used as say a formal sitting area. We've actually chosen to use it as a dining room. It was mainly cosmetic changes that we did in here painted the ceiling, which we do have those amazing pressed metal ceilings throughout the home, which we're very lucky to have. Fix that up with new ceiling white, painted the walls, and we also stripped the floorboards and uh, gave them a nice whitewash finish. That was pretty much consistent throughout the entire home. But in this space, we had an original fireplace. So this is actually the original fire, which we have though restored. So we pulled it all out and we replaced the hearth and we also replaced the mantle, which has made a massive difference in modernizing the interiors. Uh, and also it just helps to increase the sense of scale and space in this room. Also because we've been able to bring a mirror in here as well before it was quite high, quite pokey. So I like the fact that we've been able to widen this out. We had a beautiful table in here before, but I'm really glad that we chose to bring in a table that was far better suited to this space. So this one actually is from Baseline and to be honest, I am so drawn to curves in decor pieces. There's something so friendly about it and I really like the fact that it kind of welcomes you into the space a little bit more. A lot of people were actually commenting when we did the makeover that they felt that our buffet could have potentially been over here. Technically, yes, it could have. However, it's an odd shaped room. You'll notice it's got this sort of angled wall. So it actually doesn't fit over here. So we actually chose to bring in this artwork, which is actually the most perfect size for this space. And we had this before. So this is a Rowena Martinich um, original painting and it is just beautiful. It's so colorful, so fresh, and it brings a lovely modern pop to this room, basically. For everyone that follows the uh, story of lovely Fred, he's moved around our home a lot, but um, I did move him closer to the window. I did have him over there. Stylistically, he looks better over there, but he said to me, oh, Lucy, I just want to be near the window. And I was like, okay, Fred, you get your way. Probably my favorite thing about this room though, definitely the cheeky drinks cabinet. This is a absolute kind of winner. Uh, nothing much has changed in here other than the fact that the level of the drinks have probably gone down a little bit. <laughs> Okay, so that is our dining room and you can see through into the living room. So we'll take a look in here. So this was actually the first room that we renovated in this home. It's probably my favorite. It's definitely the central hub of this home. It is the energy of this space and it's where we just spend most of our time. The focal point is here. This is my happy place, basically. I love vinyl, I've been collecting vinyl for a long time and I've been slowly working up my equipment as well. I you know, used to have a sort of $20 turntable and it kind of just got more and more as the years went on. So I've invested a lot in this and I thought my extra splurge was gonna be on this shelving unit for the vinyl because I love them. So this is a great focal point. I love being able to play my records here, sit on the ottoman, sit on the couch. It's just a really practical use of this room. I should mention the color. I love the color in here and I'm really glad that we went a really bold, strong blue. So the color is actually Enterprise from Dulux. This is the strongest tone that we've done in the home and it just, it helps that sense of energy, which is what this room is all about. This is actually the original fireplace. So we did not do anything to this fireplace at all. And I'm actually, I'm, I'm kind of vibing the pillars now. They, they, they used to bug me, but we just basically painted these to fix them up a little bit. Uh, what I would probably like to do, however, uh, is potentially come back in and replace the floor tiles with a hearth um, because they are a little bit cracked. They're slightly imperfect. So I'd probably like to fix that up and then we could paint this up as well. So, or we could even retrofit with a gas fire. So 
maybe watch this space. It's something I'd like to do, but it's um, stylistically, I love the original tiles. I think they work really well. So this is the living room. I'm going to take you back through the front walkway and let's go into the master bedroom. Ah, sorry. <laughs> This is such a calm space. I really wanted to create a very calm but energetic room still. I wanted something that reflected our personalities, but it's a bedroom, right? So it's very important when you're styling bedrooms to make sure that they are a peaceful environment in which to sleep in. So there's, a, there's plenty of color, but I have sort of pulled back a lot on the walls. So there's a lot of gray in this room, but it's also quite moody. The color I've picked up on the green. So I should point out the green in this original tile. This very much inspired other choices in the room, the decor, the bed linen, and the artwork. The shelving here, I actually love these because they bring your eye up. I wanted to really heighten this space. And what they do is that they kind of counterbalance the mirror that is over here as well. So I like the fact that there's this height. So again, it was just all about enhancing the scale of this room because we actually made it smaller. So before it was just over five meters wide. So it was massive. So we actually decided to make it a bit smaller so we could bring in this new walk-in robe what I like to call my shop. <laughs> so this is a fully custom walk-in robe. So we spoke with um, Multistore, um, you can pick these up from Bunnings and we just customized it to exactly what we needed. These spaces, I mean, a robe is so personal. So if you can get a custom one, I would 100% recommend it because that means you can really just create what you need for you and for your space. But what I should point out here, because we've had a lot of questions about what we did with the lighting in this space. So because again, we've got beautiful ceilings, we didn't want to touch them. What we decided to do is bring in internal lighting with LED strip panel and corner trim. It just means that there's a lot more light in this space and I like it. It brings a lovely sort of sense of, well, a shop, it's shop quality. <laughs> uh, through to our ensuite, this is our latest renovation. I absolutely love what we did in this space. What I love most is that we got to gut it and we got to actually start from scratch. So that was very satisfying. I loved being able to choose the color, the materials, every single element in this room, we got to hand pick ourselves. I knew that I wanted to keep it very minimal, uh, but tonally it's quite soft and I'd also say somewhat feminine, uh, which I actually really like. It just creates again, that calm sensibility and it's a huge, it's just a, it's a huge extension of what we had before. And if you want any information or ideas and inspiration on how you can make a really tiny ensuite, super size it and go bigger, make sure you watch the makeover video that we did in this space because we really did solve a very, very small, very dodgy bathroom. So the size of our shower is huge. So originally we were dealing with a 1.5 meter width. We actually came in a hundred mil. So we reduced it a little bit so that we could put in this cavity door, which very important by the way. And I'm hundred percent glad that we did that. When we actually gutted this space, I was kind of gutted myself. Cause I was like, oh, maybe I should have put a bath in here. Like it's so big, but I think ultimately I'm really happy with the fact that we just went a really generous shower and we've made a really great use of space for an ensuite. So we're moving down the hallway. The first room off the hallway here is actually our office or what was once a bedroom, could be a bedroom again, but we have turned it into our home office. I've got to say, this was a very fast transformation. We actually, I think we renovated this room in about a week. Like it was really, really quick and it was in kind of the first lockdown. So we needed to work quick to make sure that we had a really practical space in which to work from home. I think what I love most about this office is the desks. These are from Baseline and we've got them set both to standing, but you can have the ability to bring them down. So if you get tired and you don't want to stand anymore, you can actually bring them down to seating. Um, this, I mean, it's fancy. I love it. I love this 
space. It's very practical. We get a lot of work done. So because we had to get this room done so quickly, we couldn't necessarily customize exactly like we did in the walk-in, but this is just off the shelf cabinetry. So the same as what we did in the walk-in, except it was just off the shelf, but we made it our own and we made it work for us. So this is Jono's space for all of his tech gear, charging bay, cameras, all of the stuff that we need in order to create beautiful videos for you guys, basically. And the only sort of element of customization is that Jono actually put in this LED strip panel up here. To be honest, in hindsight, we could even put more in. Maybe that's a job. Is that a job, Jono? Could be a job. <laughs> Maybe. Not for today. Not for today. today. Let's have a break. All right, so that is our office. come into our main bathroom. So this was a very different transformation than what we did in the ensuite because ensuite we started from scratch. I got to choose everything. Whereas this, we kept the layout the same and it was purely cosmetic fixes. So we literally just painted over everything. We painted the tiles. We brought in this easy BJ paneling. Ultimately, that was kind of that was kind of it, but it was a lot of work involved, a lot of prep work because it was in very poor condition. I've got to say probably the most asked question <laughs> that has been asked about this bathroom is how has that Dulux Reno range held up? And I've got to say, I was actually quite skeptical about how it would work, but it's held up really well. This was done, I think about 10 months ago, and it basically looks exactly the same as when we first painted it. Okay, we've got two rooms to choose from here. What do we do? Kitchen or guest bedroom? Kitchen or guest bedroom? Kitchen. <laughs> so the kitchen, I feel like this was so long ago when we renovated this. This is such an incredible space. I really love this space. We were dealing with a very odd layout and what we basically did here was we got new appliances, we got new cabinetry, we gave it a complete overhaul. We actually went to Bunnings and we uh, did caboodle cabinetry throughout um, and we got all Electrolux appliances. I didn't realize a big oven would change my life, but it has changed my life. I actually really love cooking now. So this is a really functional layout. I was, Arguing a bit with Jono, I was definite that we needed an island mansion here. I thought it really needed it. But I've got to say, having used this space now, I think having an island bench here would actually get in the way because we do kind of cross over quite a bit. So I actually really like our layout. I think it's really practical. I'm going to make a tea. Speaking of tea, this is quite legitimately one of the best things in my life. <sighs> Instant tea. How good is that? That is so good. I'm gonna let that soak for a bit. I'll take you into the pantry. I'm happy to say that I didn't even have to clean up the pantry much for you guys because I am super organized in here because we now have a space for everything. So this was a really simple fix. We basically gutted it and put in, we built new shelves. I say we, Jono built all new shelving in here. It's a really good use of space and it just means that all of our things are here now. So we've got PowerPoints so we can actually have our appliances in here. And it just means that all the bench space in the kitchen is free which is good. That never used to happen with us. So I really like the fact that we've got nice clean benches now. Let's go into the guest bedroom. Ah, so again, this was another recent room makeover that we did. I made a couple of changes from what I'd done previously because this chair actually, we just got this from um, Jono's parents and I love this chair. So I needed to make space for it. So I've actually moved the palm that I once had here and I popped him in the green room. Uh, so I have moved that around a little bit. I should say about this room, it was just a pretty normal room basically. So I wanted to bring in a couple of features. So the main things that I've done for that is again, the easy BJ uh, like we did in the bathroom. I wanted to create a nice feature. And also the sheer curtains look, they are just beautiful because I just extended the height. So it just makes this room feel a bit more grand and it has a lovely sort of drama to it.
If you watched the master bedroom makeover, you would have seen this beautiful artwork which I originally had above the bed. So this is a photographic piece from Claire Bacan. It's shot underwater, so it's got all these beautiful greens and blues which I loved, but it didn't work in the master bedroom anymore with the color palette. So I popped it here because the greens work beautifully as it leads you into the green room. I love the energy of this room and I spend so much time in this space. I'm literally here every single morning. Like I did my yoga in here this morning. It's such a lovely space to chill. You get to look out over the garden, which is yet to be renovated. That is going to happen next, but it's just got a lovely aspect to outside. And to be honest with you, this is a true sort of reflection of our personalities. It really just is so energetic and it's got so much of who we are. And that's why I really love that, the vibrancy in here. It's just, I love the color, I love the energy, and I love that, to be honest, we basically know everyone on this wall. There's so much, like there's so many friends on this wall. And I just, I love that about this room. And it gets to, through to the laundry, which is the last room I've got to take you into. So this was a big job. Okay, this was a disaster. Uh, there was concrete, there was floorboards, there was brick on the floor. So we had to gut it all out. We chose to put down structural ply. And the reason we did that is because we didn't want to try and perfectly match the um, floorboards throughout the house, but we wanted something of a similar nature. So I just, it works really well. And in terms of consistency for the colors, I brought in the same as we did with the kitchen. So this is actually black pudding. This is molasses fee from Caboodle. But instead of going double black, I've actually brought in some white. So I like the freshness of that. And again, to be honest, the walls were a disaster. So we used the Easy VJ from Easy Craft because it, they just fixed everything, <laughs> basically. And again, it's all about the texture. And I love the way that, to be honest, I never thought I'd love my laundry, but I do. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed this home tour. Make sure you keep watching because we're about to take you on a closer, more detailed look at everything that we use in this space. I'm talking products, fixtures, fittings, colors. You guys keep asking us questions, so we're gonna answer them for you. Cue the music.
for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you want more information about any of the rooms that we transformed, then make sure you check out our home renovation series. The link is below and like and subscribe because we've got plenty more videos coming your way. Cheers.